Hello everybody, welcome to Markers and Monsters for Day 23, which is Superstition Sunday. So we got a good one here lined up for you. I'd like to give you just a quick little uh, uh, background here, story on this drawing. So initially this wasn't the, the drawing I had done for Superstition Sunday. I had done one that was... Um, <clears throat> I guess a little more traditional in terms of the, the superstitions. So it had like a, a black cat under a ladder and a broken mirror and, and stuff like that. And uh, for whatever reason, it just it did not turn out good at all. Uh, I don't know if it was that my heart wasn't in it or or something, but the, the art looked bad and uh, I don't know, just the whole thing. It just didn't turn out. Maybe I'll throw up the drawing for you guys just so you can see it anyway. Um... But yeah, it just didn't turn out. So I was thinking to myself, man, it's like that just didn't, I don't really like it. It's like, what can I do different for Superstition Sunday? And I don't know, for whatever reason, what popped into my head was uh, was the, the movie The Ring. I guess I was thinking about uh, Japanese horror movies. So that, that kind of popped into my head. And I had this grand idea for this uh, drawing, which would be something a little different. Uh, it's still a marker drawing, but a little bit uh, more unique. And you'll see what I mean here as we continue with this. So I decided to do this uh, actually uh, late last night and get this done. So I'm actually recording this audio here uh, very early in the wee hours of uh, Sunday morning, well before the sun is up. So... Yeah, it just something that came together in my head, and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to do that. So, there we go. And, uh, yeah, so Japanese horror. I don't know what, what popped into my head there, but if you've, if you've never seen a uh, J-horror film, as they're called here in the States, I assume they're just called horror films in Japan, but I don't know. If you've never seen a J-horror film, uh, there's, it's some really, it's a kind of a neat little uh, genre unto itself. Like, uh, it's, it's, Usually the horror films are the very psychological in nature or they're about like uh, ghosts and folklore and superstitions and hey, you know, maybe I'm grasping at straws here saying that this is a uh, the the it's about superstition, but uh, yeah, I'll allow it. So uh, the ring, the superstition in the ring here. Uh, for Superstition Sunday is that if you watch a cursed videotape in seven days, you, you die. You watch this tape and you get a phone call and the voice on the on the call says seven days. And then seven days later, you're dead of uh, mysterious circumstances. So uh, what those circumstances are, if uh, you've not seen the movie, this is going to be a huge spoiler. So uh, be warned. So the whole thing is that the evil ghost of uh, Sadako is uh, created psionically this tape, which is cursed. And if you watch it, uh, basically she comes out of the tape into reality and uh, frightens you to death, more or less. So I know that sounds kind of kind of lame, but it's actually pretty great. <clears throat> the ring came out in uh. I think 1998 in Japan, and then the um, American remake, The Ring, was uh, I don't know a couple of years later, like 2000, 2001 or two, something somewhere along those lines. And uh, the American uh, version is actually a pretty great little movie, I have to say. Um, you know, I I still think the Japanese version is a little bit better. But, um, no, the American version is great, so you might want to watch that one if you're not into the whole uh, watching the Japanese horror thing. So let's put some static lines here on the TV. We're going to talk more about the movie here, but this, this section's almost done. We're going to shift angles here and go into something completely different. There we go. Uh, so I've measured out where my... Uh, frame is going to be normally with these marker drawings. Um, when I sell them, I put them in a, uh, a mat, like a, just a white photo mat here. So I've actually traced out the, the lines of the photo mat to give me an idea of what I'm doing. And if you can't tell, uh, I'm drawing Sadako here coming out of the TV with that long stringy uh, J-Hor ghost hair that you see in a bunch of different movies like The Grudge and stuff. Uh, it's, just, it's just part of their like their culture of how they view uh, ghosts and stuff. But yeah, that long stringy hair like that is uh, kind of spilling over the edges, the borders there, and, and so are the hands. So let's get her started to color in here. 
but yeah, the uh, back to what I was saying, the American remake, The Ring, is uh, is pretty great. So you know, if you want to get the the Ring story and maybe you don't want to read the subtitles or whatever for whatever reason, then that, that's actually a pretty great movie, and I highly recommend checking it out. Now Sadako here, she uh, evil ghost girl with that that long black hair. That that's kind of uh, part of um, you know their their ghost lore in Japan. You see that in other movies. Uh, she's of the, I'm going to butcher this pronunciation, but the yokai ghost type. It's like the evil woman who, or the evil ghost woman who is uh, very, like, angry. <laughs> and uh, she's got that long hair. You see her pop up in movies like uh, The Grudge, which is another J-horror series, um, which is very good as well, uh, with, with another really good american remake i have to say the first one is pretty great and it creeps me out man uh i don't know about you guys but the, not a ton of things creep me out but these things these like j horror type ghost things like the ring and the grudge they they really they man they creep me out i don't know why so let's continue inking here now if you'll notice here her fingernails are a little weird that's because uh, another spoiler alert in the uh in the movie she has no fingernails as uh, the well that she was chucked down when she was, you know, a, a girl. Um, she tried to, like, claw her way out of it with her, uh, and her fingernails, like, broke off in the rocks as she's trying to climb up. So she's got these, like, sunken in, like, no fingernails. Ugh, pretty, uh, pretty horrific. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> but, yeah, the uh, movies are great. It's, it's, it's a great... Uh, it's an interesting look at things, and it's a lot more, uh, like I said, psychological and atmospheric than, than visceral, which I really dig. Um, all right, let's start cutting her out here as well. Yeah, I don't know what possessed me to do this and then just do something a little bit different today. Um, still a marker drawing, but just, yeah, with, with some extra work for me involved. Whoopee. But uh, I think it turned out great in the end here. And uh, it's going to be very hard. I can't really scan this one. So um, I took a snapshot here, so I'm going to have that at the end. So hopefully that works out for you guys, and, and you can see it and get a good view. So I'm just carefully, carefully cutting around all these little edges here with the X-Acto knife and just trimming out areas um, <clears throat> just to get that good, that, that nice look here as well. Now another thing I'll tell you that you'll see me do near the end here um, once she's all completely trimmed out and stuff like that coming up, I get a black uh, marker and just pretty carefully go over the uh, the edges, you know, of the uh, of the paper with that black marker, just so it's not like uh, she's not sitting on a white border. See what I mean, right there. <clears throat> and uh, that kind of helps. That kind of helps sell the illusion, as it were. Uh, because um, if she had that white border, you'd see it from the different angles. So having that black border kind of helps. So here's the photo mat that I got. Let's sign it up. And uh, I'm going to tape this thing in there. And like I said, that's normally how I, I sell these markers at conventions and stuff. So if you see me, that, that's how I have them anymore. A little piece of, um, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Uh, it's not cardstock, but it's a 3D thing. And there we go. Let's tape it on just a little bit thick there she's popping out yeah this is the picture I took so hopefully you guys can get a good uh, p view of that so yeah awesome I don't know what possessed me to do this and I know that superstition here for the ring is a uh, is a little bit of a stretch but you know what I don't care <clears throat> I enjoyed drawing this <clears throat> pardon me it was lots of fun and uh, yeah it was great stuff check me out online let's talk about some J horror and stuff guys awesome thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll be back tomorrow for another great episode of markers and monsters <laughs>